Parvani Hall, the most beautiful building in County Galway and an exemplary masterpiece of ecology and sustainability is refused planning. In an act of pure vandalism, Galway County Council have demanded its immediate demolition and have refused to discuss the matter for even two minutes with the creator of the project, master carpenter, poet and storyteller, Shivam O'Brien. Join the campaign to save Parvani Hall, support beauty and authentic sustainability and end this bureaucratic bullying. Shivam O'Brien, in his own words. In three years of paperwork and 22,000 euros worth of applications and appeals and expensive traffic surveys, the bureaucrats at Galway County Council have refused even one five-minute meeting to discuss the ins and outs of this lovely building. Those that signed the refusal do not know what the building is, where it is, why it was made, how it was made, nor by whom, nor what for, nor any of the implications of their heedless decision. All they can muster is a dull, uninformed, undiscussable standard letter of refusal if this building is not in the interests of sustainable development. Then I demand to know what is. I call you out, Galway County Council, to explain yourselves in public so that the people of Ireland can see the disgrace that is being carried out in their name and I believe they have no idea of what sustainable development might look like even if it hit them between the eyes, which it is just about to. Who is it that can claim to tell me and my family whose name has been on this same ancestral ground for 450 years that I cannot build here? The world will know what is happening. I will not be silent. What I made is beautiful and made by my own two enthusiastic and honest hands and with the willing and freely given help of dozens of others. Those inspired bright faces in Galway who longed for a ceremonially anciently rooted place of retreat and repose and willingly gave their spare time and enthusiasm to it. A thing of beauty, welcomed by all eyes, praised by all visitors near and far. Wherever I go in the world, I'm welcomed as an ambassador of legend, poetry, praise, and true storytelling. Let it be seen who loves Ireland, who has guarded her honor, whose tongue carries truth. I may have infringed a few small points of planning protocol, but I have upheld all that is good in the land, and what should be good in planning and architecture. Upheld all that is good in craftsmanship and bright action, in life and tradition, in speech and love. My crime, it seems, cannot possibly be the daring and darling little hall I made in the orchard garden of our damp, old, crumbling stone farmhouse. I am fasting against these people, as is the old custom, such that their shame drive them to reason and truth. But I fear they have no shame, and that Ireland has lost her great name, and that all that is good is gone. Parvani Hall must stand as witness to something that truly sustains and sustains us all and always will.